Welcome to Messy World. If this is your first time here, you love Messy and we're here to bring it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, well, welcome back to my channel and let's go ahead and get into it. So as you see that title, yes, Jordan won her court case and Tristan Thompson has been ordered to pay $40,000 a month for his son Prince. Yes. Okay, so as you may already know, Jordan Craig, which is Tristan Thompson's first baby mama before Chloe, did take Tristan back to court because she was not happy with his visitation seeing Prince and she was not happy with the amount of money that she was getting. So she took him back to court and she cited in her court documents that Tristan had only seen his son a total of nine times from the time that he was born in December 2016 all the way up until December 2018. So she was not happy about that. So after taking Tristan back to court, the judge has ordered Tristan to pay up. Not only does he have to pay $40,000 in monthly child support starting on the first day of each month, he also has to pay $200,000 in retroactive child support that has been ordered to be paid within 10 business days of the completion of the final judgment so you may wonder why is jordan craig who is already living a very lavish a lifestyle let's take a look okay so as you can see jordan craig who is already living a pretty lavish lifestyle look at her pictures here she's traveling around the world she's dressing with the top and the best clothing as you can see here she's in paris she's uh, in luxury places she's traveling around the world she's living her life on the beach she's you know living a pretty lavish lifestyle so why would she need more money from tristan thompson if she's already living the life that she wants to and you can see here you know she's taking care of her son and her son is living the same lavish lifestyle that she's living if she's already living this lavish lifestyle then what more does she need and why does she need more money well according to jordan craig tristan thompson is living a lifestyle and he's enjoying a lifestyle where he's enjoying a lifestyle of expensive meals expensive restaurants safari trips to foreign countries and all manner of luxury luxurious living and this is the lifestyle that Tristan is providing for his daughter True and so Jordan Craig feels that because True is enjoying this lavish lifestyle she believes her son Prince should be able to enjoy the same manner of lifestyle she says whatever that child is living like I said whatever restaurants they take that child to or that Tristan is even just going to my son should be doing the same thing now peter lazan who is the lawyer of tristan thompson said when you say that child are you referring to true and jordan said absolutely so the judge has ordered in the child support agreement that has now been signed by both parents that not only in addition to the 40k a month and the 200,000 back child support Tristan Thompson will actually have to make an additional monthly contribution to a savings plan for print in the amount of $1,250, basically, which is an annual contribution of $15,000. So not only is he providing a lavish lifestyle with the $40,000 a month, he must provide a savings plan for Prince. He also has to provide an additional $2,000 for his private tutor. And if the uh, if Prince eventually chooses a private school, then he will no longer have to pay for the $2,000, but he will have to pay 100% of private school tuition. Okay, so not only is Prince going to be enjoying a lifestyle of luxury, going to expensive restaurants, safaris, trips around the world, because Jordan wants Prince to keep up with True and her lifestyle, but he's going to have the best education that money can afford. Now, Jordan Craig, you know, in her documents, she said that she received 
serious pregnancy complications because of Tristan's cheating and leaving her to go ahead and be with Chloe while she was pregnant. So of course she's going to throw that in there and the, the judge did award her with some extra money that Tristan has to pay. She had 15000 left in medical bills and so Tristan has to pay a lump sum of $10,000 towards those medical bills. And as you already know, since it came out that Jordan was unhappy about her pregnancy and her experience with Tristan leaving her while she was pregnant, Chloe has since apologized and she said on her own Instagram, you know, no woman deserves to go through anything like this. And she claimed that she had no idea that they were still together. And she was saying that Tristan's mother and his family told her that he was a single man. So, you know, she was saying that that was her truth and she was just sharing her truth. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Jordan was vindicated by receiving this judgment for 40K a month that Tristan has to pay? Do you think that is enough? And is it going to be enough to keep up with Tristan's daughter, True? I mean, not only is True receiving a lavish lifestyle from Tristan, but of course, as you know, Chloe has her own money. And as a single mother, she is able to provide True with a lavish lifestyle. Do you think Chloe will end up taking Tristan to court at any point in time for child support if it comes down to the fact that Tristan is no longer spending time with True? Well, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.